So you've bound your skin and now we need to go in and fix the weighting and the weighting is basically how much each vertex is weighted to each joint. So if we look, if we use this jaw as an example, at the moment the bottom jaw doesn't uh, move with that joint, the whole bottom of her face moves with the joint. And what I like to do, I'm just going to turn off keys because I don't want to add any keys by accident here. Let's just rotate the head up, rotate the jaw down, let's just hide those eyes and things for now. And that bottom jaw. What we're going to do is go in and edit these weights so that the mouth is restricted to the bottom jaw and the head is just restricted to the head jaw, uh, the shoulder is just more restricted to the shoulder and so on and so on. So to do this we're just going to go to skin, edit smooth skin, paint skin weights tool, let's open this up and you'll see our character has gone black apart from down here and this is showing us the weight map of the root joint. So the whiter it is, the more influence the root has on those vertices. Let's just reset this tool that we got as well, sorry. So down here we have our list of joints and you can go through and you can see how each joint is influencing which section. So the upper spine here is influencing a little bit around the neck and a little bit on the chest. So if we bend her backwards, this is going to look a bit odd. So this is where we have to come in and paint the weights. And as you can see, I've got sort of a stylus moving over the surface of the model. And this is how we paint the weights. Just holding B down to make my, um, holding B and clicking with my left mouse button to make my brush bigger. Uh, personally, there are lots of different ways to approach this. I just like to use a soft brush Let's scroll down, have it set to replace. And what you can also do is just right click, select influence. So now I can see what the is being influenced by the jaw bone. Let's make a smaller brush. In fact, let's select the head. Set replace. And what this is going to do is just replace the current value with the one you're painting on there. Now an opacity, well basically the value of one uh, means it's going to be full, a uh, full influence. A value of zero is no influence. So you've sort of got adding and taking away there. The opacity is how strong this value is. So if I have an opacity of one and a value of one, and I try painting, it's going to give us these vertices a value of one. So they're going to be weighted to the head by a value of one. Now I'm using a brush with a soft fall off. So the vertices around are gradually just going to get influenced by where I paint. If I select a harder brush, then you see that's more solid, so that's more a more definite uh, influence. So let's keep that harder brush, because we want the head to be, de all these vertices to be definitely influenced by the head. So we can go in and just quickly paint over these. Do the eyebrow as well. Because we're using replace, we're just going in and just swapping one influence for another. And I'm only doing one side of the head because this model's symmetrical. We can mirror the weighting information across. And I'll demonstrate that as well in a second. So let's just quickly go in and I'm just going to open this mouth up. Now we've added the jaw point, uh, jaw bone in so that we can open and close the jaw. Now you're probably wondering why we don't just do that with a blend shape. And I find that if we have the jaw bone in, it gives you a lot more freedom because you can have a blend shape, which is sort of a ooh uh, shape. But then with the jaw bone, you can open the mouth as well. So rather than being an ooh, it changes that to an R ah without having to create lots of different blend shapes. So for this area here we want this to sort of be between the head and the jaw. So this is where we start coming down and changing the, we can either change the value to 0.5 
and that will make that a solid half and half between. We select them there, that's just adding 0.5. But if we set that, leave that at 1 and change our opacity to maybe 0.5, it's just going to be adding half that value over and over again. So it'll gradually build up like that, you see. Let's just do the inside of the mouth here. That's it. Just trying to see in there. Now you may get problems like this where you can't select the actual vert and that's because we have smooth mesh enabled. So if you press 1, as you can see this is a low poly proxy mesh. Press 3, that's our lovely smooth mesh. So sometimes it's sort of working off where these vertices are here. If we press 3, that jumps up there, but may as when you're painting weights, it still thinks the vert is down here. So sometimes you just quickly press 1, just go in and just adjust those. Maybe use a softer brush just so that we're pulling that out gradually, like so. Press 3 again. But you get the general idea there. I'm not going to go on and paint the whole model. This is just to demonstrate an approach to painting the weights and fixing uh, those issues there. So if we select the jaw, and we want this to be fully influenced by that bone, so we go back down, opacity 1, value 1, and then we can go in and just make sure this area of the head is influenced like so. And we don't want this area influenced by the jaw, and we don't want this upper area here so now we can set a value of zero and then we can just turn that off there and that's all snapping back to the head so there we go just do inside the mouth here So that's looking better, we've got the jaw at the bottom, the head at the top, select the head again, as we can see we've just cleaned up that area. So let's say that's done. Let's quickly go back to our bind pose, so we go to skin, go to bind pose, that resets it to back to the pose she was at when we uh, originally bound the skin. And what we're going to do is just skin, edit smooth skin mirror skin weights which is there so we're gonna just like we did when we were mirroring our joints we're gonna mirror across the YZ plane positive to negative so it's gonna take this side and mirror it across to this side if we deselect that obviously it's gonna mirror the opposite way and because we've been working on her left hand side um, we want that information mirrored across we'll turn on normalize because we don't want any weights which are going to be accidentally go over one or below zero. We're going to keep those clamped between zero and one. Um, we'll just keep closest point on surface. Click apply. There we go. So now, fingers crossed, we rotate the jaw. It needs a bit of tidying up because I did just did a very quick job on it, but you can see there it's also influencing the cheeks a little bit up here. But we've painted the weights on the bottom jaw there. And that works quite well. We've got a bit of tidying up to do, but we can go back in, use our paint weights tool, and just remove those areas there, which are just slightly influenced by the jaw. What we can also do is go to our skin, edit smooth skin. I'll just tear this off. We can also go in and prune small weights. So if there's any anything that's influenced by a, jo a joint very, very slightly, like for example, these on the eye here, they may be influenced by the jaw by a very, very small amount. So we could just clean up the model just by doing this. Click apply, prune those very small weights. So those weights are obviously over this value but we don't want to prune too much. Select the mesh, click apply. 
Now if you saw there, the mesh did change slightly where it was just removing those 0.1 weights. So sometimes it's nice to just go in and clean those up. So that is basically painting weights and basically getting your character attached to the model. So I'm just going to uh, load in a version which has had its weights pretty much done. So I'll be back in a second. So here's a character which has had a bit more time spent on her uh, waiting. See, we wrote it, we can open and close the jaw. We can rotate the head, like so. We can do all sorts with her. She's now ready for us to start posing her and playing around with uh, getting her into different uh, poses and positions. Uh, the problem we have now though is trying to get her into a pose just by using these joints, it's going to be difficult. Let's say we wanted to have her crouch down. We're now going to have to bend the knees up, try and get the feet and keep them planted on the floor, which is an absolute nightmare. So we've got the skeleton, we've got the, mo the skeleton influencing the model. So what we're going to do in the next video is apply a rig which will work on top of this skeleton and allow us to pose her much more much easier uh, and, and in a much more easy and intuitive way.